Your test results are in, and now it's time to get those trees what they need. The process of getting lime and fertilizer to your trees can vary greatly. If you're a commercial grower, you're gonna be using some serious equipment. I'm talking about full-size trucks that can deliver and spread tons of material at a time. You'll also be using sprayers to apply foliar applications of micronutrients to your trees like zinc and boron. And you may even use fertigation, which is a process of applying fertilizer to your trees through your irrigation system. On the other hand, if you're a hobby orchard owner, you could probably get by with a tractor spreader or something even smaller like a push drop spreader or perhaps even just a measuring cup in your hands. To know what tools you will need to get the job done at your place, you need to do a little bit of math based off of your soil or leaf analysis results and see what kind of volume you'll be dealing with. All the test results that I'm familiar with give recommendations on amounts needed per acre. But keep in mind, you don't always have to apply nutrients to the whole acre. In my opinion, you only need to apply nutrients to the area in the soil that the tree's roots are occupying. And a general rule of thumb is that a tree's roots will grow out from the trunk into the soil about as far as its branches do in the sky. So what that means is, depending on the spacing that the trees were planted and the age of the trees, those trees' roots may only occupy a small portion of the soil on that acre that they were planted on. So let me give you a real-world example of what I'm talking about. On my orchard, my trees are planted on a 60-foot spacing. That works out to 12 trees per acre. My trees are very young, and when I calculate the area that their roots are covering, it comes up to only 3% of that acre. So although my test results say I need 2,500 pounds of lime per acre, at this age in my orchard, I only need to apply 3% of that to those 12 trees that are sitting there on that acre. 3% of 2,500 pounds is like 75 pounds. That's six and a quarter pounds per tree. So right now I can easily get that lime at a hardware store and just spread it by hand. More than likely I'll be able to get away with this for a few more years and then I'll have to move up to spreading it with a tractor and having the lime brought in on a dump truck. That's one scenario. Move down the street to my neighbor's orchard and it's a whole different story. They have 10 acres of fully mature pecan trees. So that means that those roots are covering that whole 10 acres. And when your soil test says you need 2,000 pounds of lime per acre, that's 20,000 pounds of lime that you have to get out there into that orchard. You don't just run down to the hardware store and dump that in the back of your pickup truck and you're certainly not gonna spread that by hand. To deal with volume like this, you have to get professional equipment involved. A few phone calls or a Google search should easily turn up someone in your area who's equipped to deal with this kind of volume. They can often deliver and dump the product right on your property so that you can spread it yourself, or if they have a fertilizer truck, you can pay them a little bit extra and they'll spread it for you. My typical pattern for liming and fertilizing has been to do my soil test in the winter and my leaf analysis in late July or early August, then apply fertilizer to my trees in March, just before bud break, and then again in June or July. So far, this has been doing okay for my trees, but honestly, I don't have a lot of history to judge from in this area. This is one of those areas where I recommend you take advice from a local grower that's successful and keep really good notes on what you've been doing with your trees so that you can make calculated adjustments in the future if need be. To recap, get your test done ahead of time, then get yourself the equipment or contract with someone that can spread the volume that you're gonna be dealing with and then get out there and feed those trees what they need. If you get a little bit confused about all those numbers on the fertilizer bag and what they actually mean, don't sweat it, you're not alone. Check out some of the links we have below. They'll help you get a handle on that stuff. I'm Silas Dudley, thanks for watching and happy fertilizing.